Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do our morning routine with my three month old son Wilder. He is still sleeping in the room with us and is in his snoo bassinet. Um, we've started putting him in this love to dreams bottle and it is a game changer. We absolutely love it. He sleeps so calm with it. He loves to have his arms up but it keeps him from waking up and he is always such a happy little baby in the morning. This is my favorite time with him and I always say hi to Braxton he sleeps with us too so I always love on him too um, but this is when I will go ahead and do Wilder's first feeding in the morning he is still exclusively breastfed so um, I give him his breakfast and I actually leave him in the swaddle while I'm feeding him because it keeps him from being able to like grab onto my boob and pull on uh, my skin and he's got such strong hands now so I keep him in that swaddle and and then I take him over and change him in between feedings. Um, I learned this trick early on that if you feed him on one side and then change him, he is a lot calmer for his diaper change and even happy now. So I still do that because it makes changing him a little bit easier instead of changing him immediately when he wakes up. And he's always so happy and like the sweetest baby at this time of the day. So I usually spend a little bit of time with him right here and just kind of love on him and play with him a little bit because he is growing so fast. So I'm trying to cherish these sweet little morning moments with him. Um, but once I change his diaper, I leave him unhooked on his little onesie so, because he gets a little fussy at this point. So I just try to get him over and get the rest of his feeding done. And then once he's fed and happy and calm, that's when I will put his onesie back on and get him out of his little love to dream swaddle. We call it the stingray swaddle because he literally looks like a stingray when he wears it. So um, after I feed him and change him. I hold him and we talk in the morning. He is so chatty lately. So I hold him and he goo goo ga -gas about anything he wants for a couple of minutes. He doesn't stay awake too, too long at this point of the day. He really is only up for maybe like 30 or 40 minutes. So I just try to engage with him and we usually stay in bed and just kind of talk to each other and uh, spend that little one-on-one -on -one time. Um, he's been loving sitting up lately. So I have been giving him the chance to just do a couple of little pull-ups. Um, um, and he is obsessed with doing this. So <laughs> I let him do that and work those muscles. Um, I always look back on his sleep log. He slept for almost 13 hours the night before and it helps me kind of keep track of when I need to put him back down. As you can see, he's getting fussy. So I give him his binky to see if he will take it. And if he does, he's usually ready for a nap. And if not, then I try to keep him up a little bit longer. So we did a little bit of tummy time. Um, and then after a few minutes of that, I started to get the room ready for his nap. Um, I put him down on the bed with his little lovey and I give him his binky. I turn his white noise machine on and all the lights down. I get his diffuser going with some lavender oil and um, peace and calming oil and shut the blinds and pull the curtains. All that fun stuff to help get some good sleeping habits because we are kind of in the midst of the four month sleep regression. So we're doing a few different things to help get him calmed down. I read to him and um, get him all swaddled up and turn the lights down. And he has gotten really, really good at soothing himself to sleep. So we don't rock him to sleep anymore. I just kind of give him a couple of seconds and calm him down. And then we double swaddle him up. So we leave him in the love to dream swaddle, but then we try to keep him a little secure in the snoo since it can also late um, and I will put him in there and then I go out and start to hang out with a little Braxy. I always work on his door manners whenever I'm letting him out in the morning to make sure he is staying on top of his training. Um, so I try to make sure that we do that whenever we're letting him out and he tried to play me here and get out before I said he could. So I'll give him the break word and he is off on his own. Then I go into the bathroom for my favorite part of the morning. I am enjoying my cup of coffee. I got this mug for Drew whenever we were first dating um, but he always brings me coffee in the morning before he leaves for work because he is a sweetie like that and this is when I take the time to do my skincare routine 
routine. I just did a full video on my uh, skincare and what I like to use. So I will link that in the top corner for you if you want to check that out. Um, but I just take a couple of minutes to myself to kind of get together. And then I got the cloth diaper inserts this morning. I was letting them air dry. We have started cloth diapering Wilder now that he is big enough. Um, so then at this point, I always let Braxton back inside and love on him a little bit more. Um, feed him obviously in the morning too and get his water bowl filled up, but really just give him a little bit of attention before I start to get distracted with other stuff. Um, he was my firstborn child, so he needs a little bit of attention too. Uh, and then I usually grab a little bit of a like snack in the morning. I don't usually eat a full breakfast this early because Wilder is still waking up pretty early. So um, I usually just have some kind of fruit. This morning I was chopping up an apple to eat and whenever I eat my fruit, I usually eat it with some kind of nut butter. And from Nutso is my absolute favorite. It's a little pricey, it's like $13 a jar. Uh, so it's kind of like a special treat, but it is so, so good. If you haven't tried it, you have to try it if you like nut butters. Um, and this week I was on a big chai latte, like an iced chai latte kick. So I got this mix to keep at home and it was delicious. It was very spicy but mixed with the oat milk it was delicious so I made that for myself in the morning just a little sweet treat to get the day going um, and I usually gather all this stuff up and come into the living room and hang out with Brax on the couch this is when I will work on some of my essential oil business things that I need to get done in the morning I try to get that done first thing in the morning um, so I usually work on that and then I also just try to take a little bit of time for myself here too um, it's the quietest time of the day. Everyone's out of the house and Wilder's asleep. So I like to just hang out a little bit. Um, and then once I'm done with breakfast, I will go into the kitchen and kind of take an evaluation of what needs to be done. Drew is really good about doing the dishes at night. And so I usually just put away the dishes that he's done. And if there's anything left over that I need to hand wash, this is the time of day that I will try to get it done. Usually Wilder ends up waking up in the middle of me doing these dishes and I get like three fourths of the way done and then I have to go get him. Um, but I try to get most of it done now so that I don't have to worry about it the rest of the Day. but if not you know not a big deal uh, I just try to do do my best in the morning and then if anything doesn't get done we just do it later You can see he did wake up while I was doing the dishes, but no biggie. He's always so happy whenever he wakes up from his naps. And I always do these little bicycles with him whenever he wakes up. It helps with their little gassy tummies. So if you haven't looked it up on YouTube yet and you have a gassy baby, you have to do this. It is amazing and he loves it. So we spend the first few minutes of him being awake doing that. One thing that I've learned having a newborn is that you do things that you can whenever the baby is really happy. So this is Wilder's happiest time of the day. So I take advantage of that and I let him just hang out in the snoo. He is super content to just kind of lay around and goo goo gaga to himself and keep himself entertained. So I take advantage of that to get the bed made at this point. Since we're in the room at the same time, it's kind of tough to find the time to keep that room put together. So I take advantage of this and get the bed made. I've always been a little lazy about making the bed, but um, Drew has instilled this great habit. So I have been trying to do it more to make sure that our house looks nice. Um, and so this is the best time for me to do it. Once I am done with that, I will scoop Wilder up and take him out into the living room for his next feeding. I am obsessed with our boppy. I like the football hold right now. He's still a little too small to do crossbody with the size of my boobs. So this is the best way for us to feed. It's the best latch he gets. So the boppy was crucial for us figuring out how to breastfeed the best. So uh, I always burp him after we get done eating, obviously, and kind of boop him around the room a little bit bit. 
and then I will take him back into our room to get his diaper change. So like I said, we have been transitioning him into cloth diapers. Right now we're using the Nora's nursery diapers. I'm actually working on a full review for the diapers. I am loving them so far. They are amazing and they come in such cute colors. So I put him in his cloth diaper and this is when I will also uh, change him for the day out of his PJs. So I love this time of day. He is in the best mood and he's just so giggly. This is when he's kind of made that transition from a newborn into being more of like an actual alert baby and he is a little bit more playful. So I let him kind of boop around on the bed and kick around. I let him uh, be just in his diaper for a little bit too just to kind of like you know feel around and do a little skin to skin so this is one of my favorite times of the day because he's just oh he's just so alert and loves to talk to me and is holding on to my thumbs and doing sit-ups and he's like pulling himself up to almost stand and he just is aware of his feet and his hands so it's been a lot of fun uh, but then I will go ahead and get him dressed for the day. These are amazing. They're from Posh Peanut and they're super stretchy and so soft. And he's growing like crazy, obviously. So I have been a big fan of these because they are, like I said, very, very stretchy. And they fit over his cloth diapers really nice. Sometimes it's tough to find onesies that button up over their extra fluffy butts when they have cloth diapers on. And these are perfect. So at this point, I'll take him into the living room to give him a little bit of floor time. I am a huge believer in letting your baby be on the floor as much as possible. It is shown that it helps the most with their physical growth and their like brain development to be able to have like time on the floor to explore and roll over like that. He is rolling over now. Um, he doesn't do it all the time, but he definitely does it sometimes. And he's just exploring so much more. So I like to give him as much opportunity to do that as possible. And this is when I really try to give him all of my attention. I try not to be working or on my phone or looking at a laptop. I try to look at him and engage with him this entire time. Um, and then we do tummy time, obviously. And whenever he gets a little fussy, I will roll him over. You can only do tummy time for so long at this age. So I'll roll him over and I try to keep him engaged. I don't pick him up immediately when he's crying just to kind of keep him playing. Um, I keep all of his toys in these little baskets. They're really nice to corral all the things that I'm kind of introducing to him. I give him kind of one or two toys at a time. I love this one from Love Every. It's in their monthly play kit and he is a big fan of these things so they're like a Montessori based program that sends monthly boxes out and they are just the best toys they know exactly what you need for the age that your baby is and I am a big fan so I keep everything in this little basket I have a couple of these floating around the house and it just keeps the baby stuff kind of corralled um, but at this time we are moving on to his next nap of the day cuddling up with his lovey and just kind of like before I'm very uh, big on getting him into this routine of doing the same kind of things over and over again giving him his lovey his binky turning the lights down sound machine on uh, or swaddle on and getting his diffuser going so it works really well and he has adjusted to it really well um, this seems kind of weird but Braxton sheds a lot he's a very hairy dog and this play mat obviously stays on the floor so some days I go through and just lint roll it to get all of the dog hair off of it because he is playing on it. So I want to make sure that it's clean and I don't want to wash it every two days. So um, I just went through and lint roll it really quick and then got it up off the floor to keep it away from Braxton. Uh, as you can see, I'm still in my PJs. So at this point in the morning is when I will go and get myself dressed for the day and into my closet. Um, I like to keep it very comfortable. Obviously with a baby around, you are constantly moving. So uh, I'm, and obviously I'm still breastfeeding. So I like to keep it comfortable and easy to breastfeed. And I keep my hair in a bun with a headband on most days. I add jewelry to make it feel like I got ready a little bit. This kimono is from Free People and my jeans are from Torrid. But uh, that is it for our morning routine, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.